I don't see if I treated you like a lady. <laughs> My spousal support is through the roof when it goes bad. That don't make no sense to me, man. It didn't work out. Let's keep it moving. Mm-hmm. You know, break off a little something, something, because you ain't going to get out of it scot-free. But all oh, those little crazy numbers, $100,000 a year for a kid per kid per year, whatever. $1.3 million. Those numbers just don't make sense to me. Now, this was my question. Remember, we were talking off air. When does spousal support stop? Because now I'm getting spousal support. Mm -hmm. And say, like, my ex-husband, now he gets remarried. Uh So is he still required to pay spousal support to me? Now that he got another wife. Now that he has another wife. Hmm. That's interesting. Any lawyers out there? Nine two one five. So do I still get my one point three, three. three million work, per man? year, and now he's married with another wife, and say so like they get a divorce, and she wants spouse support. Uh-huh. So is that taking care of two, two wives? wives? Yeah. Well, you, I imagine you can't get around once that judge say four billion dollars a year. And Whatever. I'm curious, how many women who are getting paid child support? I mean, child spousal support. Child, that's what it is. <laughs> child support. That's true. That's what, that's uh, what he's saying. Child support. Ninety seven point five. Hello. Hi, Hi, this is Donna. I used to work for the Orange County District Attorney Child Support Division. Hi, Donna. Help us out. Okay, Donna. now, spousal support. Uh-huh. Now, it depends on what you put in your divorce decree. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, they can say up until the, the ex-wife gets to be married uh-huh. or is in whatever. You know, I yeah, have a six plan years, now half been, of the yeah, time. Yeah. I have a friend now that's paying spousal support for a woman that he hadn't been with in 22 years. And he's still paying. Really? Yeah, and he's like, I don't know why that chick won't get married. Yes. <laughs> She said, look, I look, as long as that little change coming in every month, you can't put a ring on this. F- and no, that's the time that you can't put a ring on it. When, right, because when, yeah. right. she's going to say no. You know, you can just act like you want to marry her. She's going to tell you no, as long as there's a large amount of money coming in, you can just stay wrong with it. Put a ring on hard. it, put a ring on it, put but a ring But you know what, what, sis? This is one thing I found was interesting. Now, this is what I read, so I don't know how true this is, but... Um, Babyface's ex-wife, Tracy Edmonds, her and Eddie Murphy had did this whole beautiful wedding. And then they ended up breaking up like a week and a half later, right? Mm-hmm. Come to find out the wedding was never um, valid. It was just a commitment ceremony that looked like it was supposed a to be a wedding. commitment ceremony. So this is what I had heard. I just heard this. So I don't know how true it is. But I heard that the only reason why she really didn't get married because it was going to affect her spousal support that from she was getting face. from Babyface. And, you know, you want to mess that with them residual. That is definitely could be true. Like I said, it depends on what a man needs to do when he does Mm -hmm. uh, divorce his wife. He needs to make sure that he puts it in the divorce decree that, hey, I'm only paying her for a certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, for a certain amount of years. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of them don't think that way. They think, oh, she's going to get remarried real soon. And they Mm -hmm. don't realize that if you're paying a woman $15,000, $20,000 a month, Mm -hmm. she ain't marrying nobody. That's right. (laughs) <laughs> see, see, but I have a cure for that too. You just introduce it to one of your boys, Mm-mm. right? And then keeping money in the family. That's what you do. Hey, thank you for checking in. Wish, wish your name, Donna. Donna. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Donna. All right, Donna. Okay, Donna. Thank you, Donna. I just want to say thank you, Donna. But, but that what? is so true because if you're making that much money a month, you probably won't get remarried uh, because you got all that money coming in, and you know you're sitting pretty because the next man may not have that amount of money that you're making every. Well, you know, when it comes month. to those type of numbers, the institution of marriage has a little the institution of marriage institution don't hold marriage. that much weight okay, so you know you meet a cat who's making sixty seven thousand dollars a year whatever mm-hmm. but you getting that every month from being jay-z's ex jump off or whatever mm-hmm. the deal is I, i'm just saying jay-z i'm not saying anything about the brother i'm just saying 97.5 mm-hmm. I, I heard about this lemonade thing 97.5 hello hey hello What's hey, that, Chris, i got a question for you guys okay, okay. since california is a palimony state uh-huh which means you don't have to be married as long as you're living with somebody for common law for a certain period of time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you're collecting alimony and then you're living with the guy, you're still getting alimony. If you and him break up, can she sue for alimony while she's still getting alimony? Mm, that's interesting. First of all, we need the woman to call back. I that never works in even County. took a law class. <laughs> I know what's seen right, but I can't give you any advice on that. Donna, but, call back in. That's a question for you. And, and, that's a question for Donna. Since, yeah. And since common law right, common law marriage takes in after two years, yeah. that should cancel any alimony. 
Oh, that's really good. Okay, Donna, girl, we need you to call back Thank in. you, brother. I appreciate that. That's a good that, question. <laughs> Thank hey, you. Have a good day. You too, man. I, uh, but you know what, Tristan, see, th- this is another topic. I'm so glad he mentioned that because a lot of people, they live together and they say, no, you know, I don't want to get married. You know, why, why fix something if it's not broke? Because yeah. when people get married, you know, it kind of messes up what we got going on. But in California, if you're mm-hmm. living with them, mm-hmm. they can still sue you. And that's the thing. So you might as well go ahead and get married because it's as if you were married. And I don't think people really think that way. They think living with somebody is still yet keeping them single. But if they decide to sue you, like you just said after that two years. That marriage thing is scary, man. Yeah, it's, but so it's is living scary. with somebody because it's as if you were married. No, nah, you can kick it to the curb anytime you want. Did you just hear him say palimony? <laughs> if we've been living together. Uh, well, it's like you have to be a certain time living together for like, like seven years. No, he just said like two. Two years? 18 months. So all those. We good. We got so 18 all months. all those that shacking, as they say, when you in church. So if you shacking. Yeah. Because you don't want to get married. I have a I have a solve a fix in my head for everything uh-huh. you can come up with. I have a fix for this. Yeah, what, what's your fix, bro? You know, if you pull your driver's license out, mm-hmm. there's an expiration date on it. <laughs> you know. Okay. It's a driver's license, mm-hmm. which means you're able to handle the operation mm-hmm. of a car to X amount of point, and mm-hmm. everything's all good. You get to get another one because that one expired oh marriage licenses should work the same way after seven years if you've done everything necessary so on and so forth you get to get another marriage license should the marriage be failing you should be able to let the thing expire (laughs) take a new picture i ain't never heard such foolishness in my life keep it moving (laughs) should marriage licenses have an expiration date we're coming back with a whole lot more did you take your medication this morning (laughs) 97.5 Don't put a ring on it. Get a background check, brothers. Trust me, man. You you never know where she might be from, man. You know, marriage licenses. Should they have an expiration date like your driver's license? Should you have to take a a written test and a driving test? You got to go on at least three trips together before you decide this is something we could do on a daily basis. There should be rules in place when it comes to this whole marriage thing and because at the end of it, there's going to be some spousal support and prenups that you got to do. But it's called marriage counseling. <sighs> Not a test. Marriage counseling. That's where you go to see if both of you are compatible. Because in counseling, there's going to be questions asked of the both of you uh-huh. to let you know where you are and if you should be married. It gives you questions to contemplate. So every session, you have questions to contemplate. Like and, what? And you'll, like find what? Out, like and you'll what? find out if you two actually get along. How do you do things? Dealing with finances. Then you'll you'll find out. And plus, when you leave counseling, there's questions that you two need to discuss together. And it'll bring out things that you never knew about your mate, your potential mate. 97.5. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello. Well, first of all, good morning to both you, Tristan, and Mr. Charmaine. What's Hi. happening, brother? How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm doing all right. This is Maurice calling, representing DPA. What's up, Reese? How you going? Give me the real truth from a man's point of view. Come on now. Uh, 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 right. Hey, it's just, man, I am so sorry, man, but I... I I disagree with you on this. We'll have a bad connection. Thank think, you for checking in, brother. I really do. Love you. I don't, I don't, I don't buy in uh, to marriage licenses having an expiration date. Why not? Except that, it's except a good that idea. Because it's a covenant that is entered into uh-huh. where a vow is made, yeah. man, it's like that do we part. But yeah. things happen, brother. I mean, divorce happens every hour of but every day. there's a difference day. between what? your mindset and his mindset, Tristan. So you look at it as the institution you know how many people, of marriage. But you know how many people, thank you. What's your name, brother? Maurice. Maurice, I'm thanks Maurice, for checking thank in, man. You. you crazy guy. You thank No, you, you look at it what? institution. He well, said it's yeah, a vow well, you know, that you make before he, God. It's a covenant. Here's institution the and covenant are two different things. But here's You're watching a Rich Girl Dreams production.